Hi friends, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to see how to find the trailing zeros in a factorial of a number. This video is done as per the request of one of my subscribers. So our first question is, find the number of trailing zeros in the expansion of 23 factorial. So these kind of questions will come. You will be asked to find out the number of trailing zeros. So how to do this? The number of trailing zeros will be dependent on number of fives. So what is actually 23 factorial? 23 factorial will be 23 into 22 into 21 into 20 into it will go up to 1. So this is 23 factorial. So in this 23 factorial, how many multiples of 5 are there? Because you know that multiples of 5 will be giving you zeros. Not all multiples of 5 but the even multiples of 5. All the even multiples of 5 will be giving you zeros. So, you have to find out how many multiples of 5 are there in this n factorial. You will be asked to find out the number of zeros in n factorial. So, you have to know how many multiples of 5 will be there in n factorial. So, the key here is that you have to go on multiplying this n by 5 till you get a number less than 5. Okay. So, I will explain you will be understanding it clearly when I go to other questions also. Here you have to do 23 by 5. So, 23 by 5, what is your answer? 4 will be your answer. You have to find out only the whole number. No need to consider the decimal places. So, 4 will be your answer. And you are getting a number less than 5. 4 is less than 5. So, you can stop there. Suppose if you had got 8 means you have to again divide 8 by 5. So, here you got a number less than 5. So, you are stopping there. So, your answer will be 4. So, there will be 4 trailing zeros in the 23 factorial. Now let's go to a second question so it will be more clear to you. Find the number of trailing zeros in 101 factorial. So 101 first what you have to do you have to divide it by 5 so you will be getting 20. Then again 20 you have to divide by 5 so you will be getting 4. So you can stop there because you got a number less than 5. As soon as you get a number less than 5 you can stop there. So you have to add both. So, 24. So, 24 will be your answer. There will be 24 trailing zeros in 101 factorial. It is very easy to find. You just have to understand how to do this. You have to just go on dividing by 5. What you are trying to do? You are trying to find out how many multiples of 5 are there in this 101 factorial. So, that is why you will be going on dividing by 5. So, 101 divided by 5 means 20 numbers will be there which will be divisible by 5 and again in that 20 again 4 numbers will be again divisible by 5. So, 24 even multiples of 5 will come or there will be 24 trailing zeros in 101 factorial. Third question find the number of trailing zeros in the expansion of 1000 factorial. So, whatever huge the number is you can easily find out by using this method. So, 1000 divided by 5 you will be getting 200. Again 200 divided by 5 you will be getting 40. You have to keep on dividing by 5 recursively until you get a number less than 5. So, 40 divided by 5 you will be getting 8. So, still it is greater than 5. So, 8 divided by 5 is equal to 1. So, you can stop there because you got a number less than 5. So, what will be your answer? 200 plus 40, 240. 240 plus 9 is equal to 249. So, there are 249 trailing zeros in the expansion of 1000 factorial. Now, last question find the number of trailing zeros in 452 factorial. So, 452 divided by 5 will be giving you 90 and again keeping on dividing by 5, 90 divided by 5 is equal to 18 and 18 divided by 5 is equal to 3. So, what will be your answer? 90 plus 18 plus 3 which will be giving you 111. So, there are 111 trailing zeros in 452 factorial. So, any number you can easily find out. Just keep on dividing by 5 until you get an answer which is less than 5. Then add all those multiples. So, you will be getting the number of trailing zeros. Thank you for watching.